Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. This is I Allegedly. And there's so much to cover on this video between what people can't afford, what our government can't afford, from rent to the finances to our national debt to everything. This video covers everything today. And uh, we also have a sponsor, Aegis Multi Collagen, which I will cover a little later. First things first, guys, I want you to think about this. In 2023, we added to our national debt $2.67 trillion in one year. $2.67 trillion. Think about this. 77% of that was financed by short-term treasury bonds. Money concocted out of thin air. We didn't make anything to do that. We just sold bonds. Now, the problem with this is that we cannot afford this. This is unsustainable. You cannot run a business by getting more debt getting more credit and not selling anything. That's the problem with our country right now and it's only getting worse. Think about this, 20 years ago, 20 years ago, our national debt was $5 trillion. Oh, she's loud today. $5 trillion, guys, okay? Now, think about that. Half of that amount that we had 20 years ago, over half was you know, conjured up in 2023 alone. This is going to get out of hand. We spend over a trillion dollars, you know, of this every year on just servicing the debt, okay? And it's absolutely upside down. Now, this also goes to people out there that are borrowing out of their eyeballs. Think about this. Since COVID happened, the average person, the average person, each and every one of you, has added $340 to their national debt, I mean to their national debt, to their personal debt. So if you're spending that a month, that's insane, guys. It's absolutely insane. The rest of us that don't have credit card debt are not living this way. You cannot borrow to oblivion and, and have it be sustainable for your personal life, for your business, or for this country. And that's what nobody wants to look at. Now, here's the thing. We have seen a problem when it comes to rents in this country. And rents right now are actually dropping. Think about this. For the first time since COVID happened, we finally have seen rents drop, but the average one bedroom place, $1,700 a month. Isn't that, isn't that outrageous? I have so many people I know that were spending $1,000 before COVID, and now they're spending the 1,700. So for 11 months in a row, it has dropped, and they're attributing it to a few things. First thing they're attributing it to is all the extra construction. And I don't care where you live in this country, and we're seeing this, people in the UK write me about this, people in uh, South America write me about this too, Canada especially, where they have people that are going out and uh, they live in cities that they're building apartments. You know, these five-story dormitory, you know, they look like jails and they're building these. Now, there's not enough people to pay for those. And now they're starting to have a problem where they're starting to offer deals and things like that. But, you know, rents are still higher than they were, you know, pre-COVID. And now what we're looking at is that it's finally starting to take a turn. Now, overall, it dropped last year, but it didn't drop enough for it to be, you know, noticeable. You're starting to see more incentives. You're starting to see more uh, deals given out, free rent, things like this, which is the sign of a real estate downturn. With real estate, we're starting to see the fact that people are fed up with paying agents, you know, for a, a two and a half and three percent commission. It's, it's going to change. You're going to see portals get invented where people are going to list their homes for a flat fee, okay? Whether it be a few hundred dollars or something, and the houses will be sold by someone, you know, other than a real estate agent that's earning these monstrous fees. You're going to see more real estate agents get sued in 2024 because people, as they sit down and realize that they paid these people all this money to do very little in some cases, that people are getting fed up with this, okay? so. Let me know what you think about this. There's so much more to cover on this. And uh, just got a sold out show out here. 73 degrees out here as I got out of the car today. Gosh, this is, this is beautiful. But isn't this nice? 
nice day to spend your morning, okay? Nice way to spend your morning. Got a lot in my mind right now, okay? A lot more to cover. But look at this, guys. Okay? And by the way, this is all free, guys, okay? Walking through this resort. And by the way, yes, rooms are 1200 bucks here and crazy, crazy figures. But this is not, uh, this is the free area. So come out to Mom Yoga because it's free. Okay, just the donation. Let's talk about our sponsor, Ageless Multicollagen. You know, as we get older and our skin starts to get that crepey look to it, there is something that you can do about it. People think it's just part of getting old. And the worst part about this is that our body loses something that's really important, and it's collagen. You can do something about that by taking Ageless Multicollagen. I've been taking it for five months now. It has made a huge difference with me. The first thing I do is put a scoop in my coffee. It's odorless, it's tasteless, but it gives me 10 grams of biopeptides, five different types of collagen from four premium sources. Helps with my skin health, my nail health, my uh, gut health. It also helps completely with my joint pain, which has gone away as I started to work out again. So do yourself a favor, go to healthwithdan.com and check it out today, okay? Healthwithdan.com. BioTrust has shipped over 15 million products. They are a leader in this, but again, an absolute amazing difference it's made for me. Do yourself a favor and check it out. So many of you have ordered it. It's time to order it again. Aegis Multicollagen, go to healthwithdan.com and check it out today. Life has gotten so expensive and so precarious. Why is it that auto insurance has gone through the roof over the course of the last two years? When you didn't have an accident, it is anticipated that auto insurance has gone up 74% for most people, 74%. I was talking about this in a previous video. I haven't had a speeding ticket in 20 years. And uh, you know, my auto insurance just keeps going up and up and up and up and up. What you're paying for is clearly everybody else. You're paying for all the uninsured motorists of the world, but this is just not fair that we have to pay these increased prices. And you're only gonna see it go up from here. It's not gonna go down. You're not gonna get a better deal on this. And you can look around and try to save money, but when the time comes and you do need to file a claim, you need to have insurance that's gonna be there. And that's the one thing that so many people don't wanna look at. So nothing's worse than filing a claim and, uh, oh, yeah, well, you were over your mileage. That's the other thing is people that sit there and have piecemealed their insurance right now where they said, oh, you know what? I don't need this. I don't need that, it, which is a real disservice. What do, you, what, do you, what do you know that you don't need on your auto insurance? Seriously, get as much insurance as possible because you're going to run into somebody that doesn't have any insurance or they're going to run into you. That's what you're going to experience. You're going to experience problems like that. We're starting to see more and more people write me, and it's not just one bank. First, it was a slew of people from Chase Bank. Now it's Citibank. Now it's Wells Fargo also, where people are writing me and telling me that their accounts have been closed for no reason, no reason at all, but we anticipate and suspect fraud with your account. Well, that that's okay, okay? But why don't you tell me what I did to have that happen? Steve wrote me yesterday and had the same thing where his account got closed for fraud and they won't tell him what the reason was. He seized his money and they won't release it right now. So is he some arch criminal? No, read the articles below. There's multiple articles talking about how these people went out and woke up one day and couldn't get access to their funds. They go into the bank. Yeah, you're going to talk to the fraud department about that. And there's no clear letter. We sent you a letter. Oh, we'll get the letter reissued again. It may take seven to 10 days to get the letter sent out to you. Really? I want to know where's my money right now. So this is, it's, it's great for the bank. You're starting to see more and more of this right now where the banks are not giving people access and it's getting, getting much, much worse. Okay. So share your thoughts on this. Again, if you guys get anything like this, email it to me. Hello at iallegedly.com and send me this stuff because that's what we're seeing. We're seeing more and more 
of the banking shenanigans that you don't have an answer to. Isn't it interesting that, that my favorite banker in the whole world, Jamie Dimon, kind of looking for a, a new replacement, I think you're going to see this guy step down right before the chaos happens, right before everything starts getting shifted over to a digital currency and they start seizing assets and things like that. I think that there's much bigger problems coming with the banking industry than you could ever imagine right now. And uh, it's just a matter of time. And it could be any day. But I think you're going to see it happen on a Friday night so you can't be ready. And then Monday, your bank will be closed. So let me know. Let me know, let me know, let me know what you think about this. One thing that we talked about last month was that you're going to see a slew of layoffs in 2024 as people talk about how they finish their year, how great it was and everything's perfect. Now, REI, the camping store, hiking store, shoe store, tent store, whatever you want to call it, REI. They just laid off 357 people. Okay, so you're not camping anymore? You don't run, you don't hike, you don't do any of that stuff anymore? Oh, okay. 200 of them were laid off at the corporate office. 200 people. This, this is what blows me away. When you hear numbers like this, if, hey, how many people work at REI corporate? Ah, 15, 20. <laughs> 200 are losing their jobs right now. Okay. The House of Commons in Britain, they step forward and say they haven't made a decision on Britcoin yet. Well, if they listen to the I allegedly audience from the UK and you guys write me, wow, okay, scathing comments about a Britcoin, okay, you guys hate this idea. And the world hates this idea. The world hates the idea of, of Big Brother watching you, regardless of where you are on the planet Earth. People hate this idea. And again, Think about this. We're getting taxed to death, and I don't care where you live. The problem with it is as these politicians realize that they don't know how to run a business or a country, and most of them never have had the responsibility of making a payroll and having to make sure that people get paid on a Friday, these people are, are in charge of our lives. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So are people unhappy with this? You bet they are. They're miserable when it comes to this stuff, and they don't want their their livelihood messed with, and their freedoms messed with. Yeah, I want to go to the pub every day. I want to go drink alcohol. I want to go eat fish and chips and get fat. Oh, you can't do that, you know? No, 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 no. Now, Chevron, the big oil company, is furious because here in California, this is where they're based, is here in California. They pay more in taxes here. There's all these exclusions that they have that they can't produce this and the we have what we call a summer blend during summer where it's cleaner gas and all this stuff. And all these restrictions have been put on Chevron. Chevron wrote an article and said, listen, we may go out of business because of all these restrictions in California. We may not be able to uh, work and have a business in California. How wild is that, guys? Think about this. $1.72 a gallon. Wouldn't that be great to pay that in gas? It would be an awesome price. That's what we pay on an average in extra taxes here in California. Isn't that, and, and uh, government restrictions and things like that. That's outrageous, guys. It's too much. Now, one thing that you guys do is you guys get alternative media because of people like me and the other people that you follow for news and business news, whatever your niche is. The best thing about this is that you really can learn anything on the internet. You really can. You can learn to start a business, learn a hobby, learn everything, okay? Um, physical fitness, how to cook. I mean, any side hustle is available online. The problem with it is our news media companies out there are struggling dramatically and people are fed up. People are just sick of dealing with these people and sick of it. And now they're starting to step forward and say, hey, we may go out of business too. Okay, well, that'd be nice. Okay, seriously, wouldn't it be funny if some of these large uh, companies went out of business because they just can't give a product that's good. You have certain news companies like um, uh, Newsbreak that is an aggregator and pulls news from around the country. I'm not recommending Newsbreak by any means, but the idea with this is that they pull different stories from around the country and you guys send me stuff from that place alone. 
And the interesting thing about this is that it's, it's all these different news stories that they don't write. They write nothing. When I went to the affiliate show in Las Vegas last week, I met those people. I'm like, you know, think about it. You guys have a really big business that gets, you know, millions of page views a month, over 20 million page views a month, and you guys create nothing. Isn't that great? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're one of the only people that ever mentioned that to us. Like I'm Cartman or something. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of funny, but think about this. What do you need these people for? And as they give us, you know, less and less of a better product, it, it's not reliable anymore. So you have to go to places like this. You get a guy that stays up till two, three o'clock in the morning, pulling from 50 different news sources to get this stuff. And yeah, guys, I don't just spew this stuff. You guys write me stories. And then if the story has a link to it, I research that even further. So let me know what you think about this. Let me just think about all this stuff. Because again, it's just a smattering of everything today. We've got so much going on. The banks right now are in real, real trouble. And you're going to see a day when we're going to see more banks go out of business this year. And it's going to be very, very convenient when that happens. Okay? So share your thoughts so far on this. We're starting to see major problems with the economy in certain industries. The first one was a high-flying industry a decade ago, and that was solar. Here's the thing about solar that a lot of people don't know is they give really long warranties from these companies on products that don't last that long. So it is amazing to me as I look at properties and look at foreclosures and things like this, and they have solar panels on the roof, and I say, what's your electric bill? And they still have hundreds of dollars in electric bills, but they spent $30,000 in solar. For the first time in a decade, the state of California actually lost people in the solar industry. 17,000 people lost their job in the solar industry. Elon Musk has Tesla Solar, which used to be Solar City that I worked at at one point in my life. And he bought it from uh, uh, Lyndon Rive and his brother, Robert or Reggie, whatever his brother's name is, the, the forgettable one. Anyways, so they are changing the way that they're going to hire people too. They're laying people off and they're only going to have certified installers. So they're going to have to have people basically go to a qualification process to work there, which is going to be fascinating, guys, because you're going to see major, major changes in that industry. And they're saying because there's no rebates and, and there's problems with this that you're going to see more and more companies go out of business. It's going to happen. So let me know if you bought solar and you think it's a ripoff. Okay, there's that. The next one is there was another theft crew here in Southern California that would steal basically tools, you know, uh, computers, and uh, they caught the fencing operation. Think about this. There's a great story below from KTLA News, which is a Channel 5 here in uh, Los Angeles, and they caught these people actually running basically a store out of this guy's house. Hey, come by and buy these goods. Now, it is a crime. It's a you know felony to purchase stolen goods that you know were stolen and try to resell them. And that's what this guy was doing. But they found $300,000 worth of stolen merchandise. It's crazy, guys. We hear these numbers and we, they just you know, they just pass over us like it's no big deal. But $300,000 in power tools and computers. Isn't that outrageous to think about? It's so much money and you wonder why things are so expensive. But I'm still blown away that they don't catch these guys. I was in a Albertsons market last night and the manager knows me and, hey, Dan, how's it going? Hey, can I ask a question? It was early. When do you guys shut the second entrance? Because they shut the second entrance and force everybody over to one side. So it's difficult to sit there and to park and then realize that uh, uh, you've got to walk the long way over to the one entrance. And they said, well, we don't really advertise that. We don't want to talk about that because of the crime. I said, what do you mean? He goes, we do this because of the crime. What are you talking about? Well, people, you know, that side's got the liquor department over there, Dan, and people run in and run out uh, with booze. And because they know our company procedure at Albertsons that we can't stop them, that we just basically let them go. So basically it's kids, high schoolers, college kids, kids that are underage that shouldn't be drinking in the first place, run in, grab alcohol, and run out of the store. So what do they do to combat that? They shut that uh, entrance and exit down at night, so they have to walk in. If they're going to make the mad dash, they're going to have to go through and uh, 
do the 100 yard dash instead of uh, the 12 yard dash, if you know what I mean. So isn't that wild to think about this? This is what our society has come to, but we can't stop them. So we stop and we get in trouble. And that was the manager telling me this. So where's the world coming to? We're seeing more and more places that are having problems with cash. This is, goes on both sides. Laura sent me uh, a great image from Big Lots talking about how, hey, listen, cash only because our credit card machines are down. You're starting to see more problems with this, but here's the flip side of that. You're starting to see more businesses that say we won't take cash. What does Big Lots do if they decide to go cashless and they have had so many problems with their credit card companies? Don't just believe it's a network problem. Understand this. Companies get shut off for not paying their bills. There's ways that people can have money ran through their company and then we pay our credit card fees and things like that. You and I, when we own a business and we swipe our credit card fees, they take the money. Some of these larger retailers, they get the money deposited in their account. They get the interest on that. Then they pay their bill. What if they don't pay their bill? What if Big Lots is not paying the credit card supplier? Okay, well then, then they don't have credit card access and they get shut off but it can be network issues. So you can't have it every way. Now, here's the other thing. There's a lot of people talking over here. I'll go the other direction. Oh, look at this old plane. Check this out. Isn't that cool? So here's the next thing. No, I mean like You're starting to see more and more people that they call unbanked that don't have a banking account. How many people that are adults that work, that get paid on a regular basis, don't have a bank account? Would you be shocked if you heard it was six million? Six million people don't are unbanked. Now, if you're one of the unbanked people, there are alternatives that you can do. You can get prepaid debit cards. You can get your, your checking account put into uh, prepaid debit cards, which is like a bank account. It has a, uh, you know, it has a, a bank account number to it. It's got the routing number to it for a bank. And then you get a card and you can go to the ATM and use it and spend it just like a checking account. Transfer it, go get money, things like that. Look at things like that if you know this. But again, there are a lot of people that don't have what you have right now. And you're going to see more problems with this in the future. So let me know what you think about this so far. Class is just ending right now. Class dismissed. I'm going to end this video with this last story, but kind of a mishmash today, wasn't it? A little all over the place. Um, I love videos like this that have everything in it. Um, please, guys, send me stuff. Hello at iallegedly.com. I love that you guys send me this stuff. Um, there is a real problem with the uh, avian flu for birds here in California and in Sonoma County. There's great story below about how egg prices went through the roof last year and we may not have seen anything yet. It may get much, much worse right now uh, moving forward because you know some of these farmers have to get rid of 550,000 egg laying chickens. It's horrible. I guess there's more than one story. Final, final story is, are you in uh, um, New Jersey, California, Florida, Georgia, or New York and you sh uh, eat at Chick-fil-A? Well, during the health crisis, they charge excessive delivery fees. If you are one of those people that live in that state, you can get a refund for Chick-fil-A of $29. There's a $4.4 million uh, uh, settlement on this. And I was thinking about this. Gosh, my kids love Chick-fil-A and all the times we ate there. So take a look at this because you could get $29 back from Chick-fil-A uh, for that. So I love when you guys send me this stuff and remind me of things like this. There's always deadlines. Fill it out so you don't miss out on it. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, don't forget to take a look at healthwithdan.com for the collagen. And uh, again, we have an email going out this week too. So join our email list. The link is right below. And I will see you guys very soon.